Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video on the sign rule. In this video, we're going to focus on the ambiguous case. And the ambiguous case is whenever you're using the sign rule to calculate the size of a missing angle, there could be the possibility that instead of there just being one possible value for the missing angle, there could be two. So here we've got a triangle ABC. We've got BC is equal to 8 centimetres. AC is equal to 14 centimetres. Angle BAC is 30 degrees and angle ABC is equal to Vita. And we've been asked to calculate the two possible sizes of Vita. So let's use the sine rule. So the sine rule to calculate the missing angle, we're going to go for sine A over little a equals sine B over little b. And remember that capital A is the angle and A is the little a is the side opposite it. So we're going to, if we put in the values, we're going to go for sine Vita over 14, the opposite side equals and looking at the angle sine 30 degrees over 8 okay so we're now going to work out what this is so working out what sine 30 divided by 8 is so sine vita over 14 equals and on my calculator that would give me 0 0.0625 and timesing both sides of this equation by 14 gives us vita equals or sine vita equals 0.875. So that means that the sine of this angle is 0.875. And that's true actually for the two possible values of this angle. So whenever you find this angle and you work out the sine of it, for each of the two values that it could be, the answer would be 0.875. Let's work out one of those now. So if I do the inverse sine, sine minus one of 0.875, I get an answer of shift sine 0.875 and it gives me a size of an angle, and I'm going to do it to three decimal places, 61.045 degrees. So that's one of the possible sides of this angle beta. Now let's look and see what the other one could be. So to find the second angle, what we're going to need to do is consider the sine graph. So here we've got the sine graph, and we have got 0, 0, 91, 180, 0, and so on. I'm actually going to cover up anything beyond 180 degrees because we're dealing with angles in a triangle. I'm going to put in this line here to show also that what we're left with is symmetrical. So we've got our 90 degrees, and, and then it's sort of symmetrical on either side of the 90 degrees. So whenever we were doing the question, we got to the point where we had sine vita equals 0.875, and we'd done the inverse sine of 0.875. So that's what we typed in on the calculator, and the calculator came up with an answer of 61.0449 and so on. When you do the inverse sine of a number between 0 and 1, what you're going to get is the calculator will always tell you the acute angle, the angle between 0 and 90 degrees. There is a second angle between 90 and 180 degrees, which will have the same sign. So there's a second angle, looking at the graph here, if you were to consider the height of 0.875, there's actually the angle here, the 61 degrees, but then there's another angle, so approximately 61 degrees, there's another angle over here, which has got the same sign of 0.875. And to find it, because the graph is symmetrical, because 61 is approximately 29 below 90, this angle over here will be approximately 29 above it, so it's going to be approximately 119 degrees. So we obviously rounded this to 61, so to find a more accurate answer, rather than doing 90 take away 61 to be 29 and then adding the 21, uh, 9 on to the 90, we would do the 90 subtract this answer and then add that result onto 90 and you would get the answer of 118.9550244 and just testing it if you were to do the sign of that angle you get an answer of 0.875 so that means that there are two possible angles between 0 and 180 degrees it had a sign of 0.875 so one of them was 61.045 and the other one was 118.055 and just testing it uh, if we had this larger angle in here the triangle could exist so if this angle was beyond you know if you put this angle in here and when you add it on 30 it went past 180 degrees then there would only be one possible um, value of vita